Hello everyone, it's me, Bibs, and today it's finally happening. I know, I've been putting it off forever. The Drawing Different Body Weights tutorial. Thought I would never get to it, huh? Well, neither did I, but here we are. Uh, here we have a clear example of what I'm talking about. You can see the visual distinction between these two girls. Now, I'm not referring to an actual numerical weight, I'm talking about visual weight, which is how heavy something looks. Like, when you see a wooden chair versus a plastic chair, and you think that the wooden chair is heavier because wood is considered heavier. Since I mentioned wood and plastic, it is important to know that visual weight is a big factor in interior design. Uh, I have some examples of two trees. This one looks a lot smaller, punier, and lighter than, say, this one. My first example is this, as to referring how the visual and actual weight could be different. Uh, this one is taller, yet it's also leaner, while this one is smaller but chubbier. For all you know, these two could be close in weight, but the visual weight doesn't show that. You assume this one is a lot denser than this one. This is the same body type, except that the different sizes and the different distribution makes it look like it has a different visual weight. But you can still tell it's a similar body type. Um, here are some few mistakes that tend to happen because, well, um, mistakes do happen, especially misconceptions. Uh, the belly button, see, it, after a while, the weight drapes over the waistband a little bit, and it could dig into the hips a little bit. Not enough to look like, say, a balloon animal, where it's all, where everything's squeezing out. Instead, it's like a gentle bump. These are really cheap sketches, so they don't show that properly, but hopefully, throughout looking at examples and visual references from pictures, friends, whatever, you will see the difference. Same thing with arms. This will be a leaner arm where you can see individual muscles, and then as time goes on, you see less of the individual muscle and more mass. Uh, slender fingers versus a bit of a chubbier hand where the fingers aren't as slender. Uh, here's another example using my two characters, Earth and Venus. Now, Earth is taller and thinner, and Venus is shorter but more messily, and you can see how different they look because of that. That's ignoring their body type, which I already covered before. The last example that I would like to give is to remember to keep the neck proportional. It can look very weird to have a stick figure neck and then a much bigger body. I know this is a very poor tutorial, but most of it is already discussed in the body type tutorial for the most part. So I really don't know what to tell you other than I believe in you and to remember to work hard and look from references and just in general keep an eye out for several mistakes that you can make along the way. I believe in you, have a wonderful day, and keep working hard. Bye bye!